It's the second year for a local feminine care donation drive. Andy Guevara explains how the efforts help Northern Nevada women with the expense and their self-worth. Uh, do you have any pads available? Any pads? Yes, please. Uh, it's not something we often get loud about. Thank you. But thank you. women need certain hygiene products every month, and they cost a lot of money. It's just tremendous. You don't have it. We serve over 300 women every single day, and these women are having to make a choice of, a lot of them, do I feed my children or do, do I buy feminine hygiene products? When Shonda Golden learned how women with little or no income deal with menstruation, she said it was too serious to ignore. Whether it be socks, you know, paper towels, toilet paper, and now we're finding out that they're also using sponges. So that shouldn't be happening in our community. Shonda used her last name and last year branded the effort the Golden Tampon Drive. The items get delivered to the women's shelter in Reno. Plus, we also have donated to Eddie's house, to our center. We're now going to be donating to the Awake Center. This year, the Tri Delta sorority at the university is helping with the Golden Tampon Drive. And we're also reaching out to all the other sororities and fraternities and other organizations and clubs at UNR, and they can then bring them to the Tri Delta House as well. The goal is to also raise awareness. To have access to clean, safe hygiene products. And focus on moving into housing and focus on using our funds responsibly. Last year, the Golden Tampon Drive collected 1,200 boxes of feminine products. This year, the goal is to double that and really change lives. Because then that way the women, they can restore their dignity. They don't have to feel ashamed of themselves if they're, you know, that time of the month. Covering the story, Andy Guevara, Channel 2 News. And for a list of ways and locations to donate to this drive, check out the online version of the story at KTVN.com or our news app.